In this section, we'll start looking at um, how to solve an equation. A solution is a number that makes the equation true. The addition property of equality says that you can add or subtract the same number from both sides of the equation, and the equation still remains true. The multiplication property of equality says that you can multiply or divide the same number on both sides of the equation, and this equation is still true. To solve an equation means that you're trying to get the variable or the letter by itself. In order to do this, you need to do the opposite operation from what you see beside that letter. So the opposite operation from addition is subtraction. And the opposite operation from subtraction is addition. And the opposite operation from multiplication is division. And the opposite operation of division is multiplication. So the first thing is that we'll just look at what makes a solution a solution. So we'll draw a line down through the equal sign, and we'll do that because it helps us keep the left side and the right side separate. Well, here this tells us that we want x to be 1. So we'll go to this problem, and in place of x, we'll put a 1, like we've done other times. So that's the left side, the right side is 1. Now the whole idea of a solution is it makes the left side and the right side be the same. That's what that equal sign really means, that those sides are the same value. So let's see what happens when we follow our order of operations here. We have 5 times 1 is 5. We still have a 1 on the right. We're still trying to see, is this really equal? On the left hand side we have 5 minus 1 is 4. And if it's a solution, those two sides should be the same, but clearly 4 and 1 are not the same. The, um, they're not equal to each other. So this is false. x equals 1 is not a solution because it doesn't make a true statement. So now let's look at solving it. Let's figure out what will make this be true. So we could probably look at this. We're trying to find something minus 2 equals 11. Well, 13 minus 2 is 11, so our answer should be 13. But let's look at how we get there. So we'll start by drawing a line down through the equal sign. So we have our left and right sides. Now our letter x is on the left, and so we want to see what else is on the left. On the left-hand side, it says minus 2. So the opposite operation from minus is plus. So we want a plus 2. If we plus 2 on the left, we want a plus 2 on the right. And draw a line underneath. Now the whole reason we do that is because minus 2 plus 2 gives us 0. That cancels out and leaves us with just x on the left. On the right, we get 11 plus 2 is 13. So x equals 13, just like we said in the beginning. So here's our next problem. We're going to draw a line down through the equal sign again. When our letter is on the left, we have this n here. And we need to ask ourselves, well, what's being done with n? Well, when a number is smashed against it, remember, it means multiplication. So we have negative 6 times n. So the opposite operation from multiplication is division. So we want to divide by that negative 6. We do it on the left. We have to do it on the right. And that helps us because negative 6 divided by negative 6 is 1. And 1n we can just write as n. And 18 divided by negative 6 is a negative 3. And that should make sense. If we look back at our original problem, we have negative 6 times something equals 18. And we got this answer of negative 3. And that works. It's an answer. Solution. So let's look at this problem. Again, we'll draw our line down through the middle. 
Now before we start looking at our letter this time, we have more than one thing on the right. So let's put those things together. Those are like terms because they both are just numbers. So we'll do 44 minus 16 and we'll get 28 over here. So now we can go back and look at our number, our letter, I mean our variable. And remember those smashed together means multiplication. So we want to do the opposite operation. Opposite of multiplication is division. So we'll divide by the number that's in front of the B, not the B, sorry, just the number in front. So that will cancel out. That leaves us with just the B equals 28 divided by negative seven is negative four. And again, we should be able to stick that back up into the original problem and it will work. So let's look at this one. We'll start by drawing a line down the middle. We want to look at where our letter is. Our letter is over here, so we want to see what else is on the same side as the letter. It says minus 41, so that's subtraction. Opposite operation is addition. So it was subtracting 41, we want to add 41. And we'll do that to both sides. That cancels out over here and leaves us with just an X. On the left hand side, we can just do negative 28 plus 41 and we get 13. Do one more problem. In this problem, we have n divided by 4 is equal to negative 7. We'll draw a line down through the center to break up the two sides. Now again, the letter's on the left, and it's division. We have n divided by 4. So the opposite operation from division is multiplication. So we want to multiply that side by 4, and if we do that on that side, we have to do it on the other side. So we're multiplying both sides by 4. That cancels that out and leaves me with just an n on the left. And 4, negative 7 times 4 is a negative 28. And that's our answer.